It's Saturday, Easter Saturday, and uh, Gemma's at work. Uh, I thought I'd do an occasional vlog. Uh, we may carry on and do the whole weekend because it's a four day weekend. Yesterday uh, was Friday, we had the day off, I was on call. Wow, I am really, really overexposed there because of the sun in the background. Have the shelves in the background instead. Uh, yeah, yesterday we had a relaxing day in front of the TV while I was on call. Uh, didn't get caught on the phone, so that's good. Today is apparently going to be the nicest day of the weekend, so I'm going to do the gardens. We haven't done them since last summer. It's going to be entertaining. The dog keeps getting lost in the grass. <laughs> So I, you leave the garden a lot all winter and around here you go back into it in the summer and all sorts is in the other people's junk sometimes as well. So we'll see how that goes. I'm going to mow the lawns. I'm going to hopefully possibly jet wash the flags because um, probably about two months ago I ran out into the garden and nearly slipped and fell backwards because there's all like moss on the floor. So I really need to do something about that. It's dangerous. Uh, other than that, tonight we are having food night. We're going to do some American style food which is kind of typical being that we're going to America in about 24 days, something like that. Exciting. <laughs> and what else are we going to do? Uh, probably watch some films and some vlogs, but other than that, it's going to be a nice relaxed weekend. Uh, the weather's not going to be too great for the remaining two days, which is a shame as those are the two that Gemma has off work, but we'll find something to do. Uh, so, off to the garden. But first, some lunch. You'll have to excuse the Jesse Cox playing in the background, I forgot to turn off. Today's lunch is the tuna sandwich. We got some fancy breads from Asda, I think they were having a clear out of stuff that they hadn't sold yeah, and Gemma picked like up a bag of them and I never actually opened them until today. They're still and pretty fresh so I'll just eat them. Stop. Well, <laughs> I'll be honest, that could have gone better. I got about half of the lawn and the motors uh, seized on the mower. Um, that mower has been living on borrowed time for about four years now, so I'm not too cut up about it. Uh, I'm probably now going to have to go and buy a new one. I also probably should have trimmed the grass before I lawn mowed it, but I don't have a trimmer because that broke as well. And lo, I have returned home from the bank holiday shopping madness at Argos and other places. I had to park about a good four or five minute walk away from the car, from the store just to get into the store because the car park was so busy, which is great on the way there, it's fine, I've no problem with that. On the way back when I was carrying an eight, uh, 18 kilogram lawnmower, not so good. But yeah, bank holiday madness has occurred. Um, good news is that uh, I got 20% uh, off the lawnmower because it's bank holiday weekend, so it cost about £80 instead. So now there's another one for me to blow up because I'm quite good at that. I think I've gone through four or five lawnmowers since we moved into the house about 11 years ago. Um, admittedly, all, most of them were old ones already so they'd already probably got quite a lot of miles on the clock this one's brand new exciting not that exciting really is it? oh no what a giant Meccano set well that was a bit easier this is the new mower way quicker than the old one and the lawn is mowed for the first time this year. I've only done it quite high at the minute. I'll do it lower when it gets uh, a bit sunnier. And because it was already high, I didn't want to put the new mower under too much pressure and have it ha what happened with the old one happen to this one. So there we go, lawn mowed. There is one, I think I'm gonna hang off on doing the jet washing of the flags, cause it's 10 past three and it'll take me about an hour and a half to do that because I'm really slow on our jet wash is also knackered. I probably should have checked that before I went and got the new mower because I could have picked one of them up on the way. But I do have something else I want to do, which involves a, an old hobby of mine, which I want to try and get back into. Unfortunately, it does mean going into the shed full of spiders though. So I'll do that now. And this would be the old hobby. Yes, I used to do model railways and I want to try and do it again. Uh, I put this in the shed last summer, thinking it'd be all right. And last the winter, okay. It's covered in mold. The shed's probably not the best place to store this. Also, massive spider. <laughs> so I might have to get rid of him. The trap looks okay. I mean, it's got weathering on it, but it's meant to have weathering on it. Uh, this bit's gonna be fun to get up because it's actually physically glued to the baseboard here. And these points aren't, so they should be reasonably easy to get up. That actually was a bit easier than he intended. So these came up relatively straightforwardly, but this I'm probably going to scrap 
these are N gauge, so they're really, really, the trends can be really finicky, finicky about the quality of the track. This stuff costs about four or five pounds a yard, so it's not massively expensive. These things cost like 10 to 12 pounds each. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 pounds worth, 60 pounds worth. Yeah, they were worth retrieving. That I can live without. And of course, the best thing about having a nicely mowed lawn is, well, Holly can pee on it for one. <laughs> Thanks, dog. But she can also, Hol, what's this? Play her favorite game of fetch. Used to play this until she dropped. And she drops a bit quicker these days because she's an old girl. You gonna get the ball? Oh, I've seen some of your mess that I've not cleaned up. There's another job for me. Off you go. Oh, sorry, birdie. I refilled bird feeders as well. There's been a robin knocking around looking for some scraps. Can I have the ball, please? Thank you. Off you go. Fall for it every time, don't you, dog? Go on, one more. Where are you getting on? get her back into shape she'll be doing this loads more oh that's lovely Holly thank you I've just cleaned that up as well so Gemma's home Hello. and we're having tea and well we're not having it we're cooking it so no more burgers so yeah. I've made these from scratch just a bit of salt and pepper we have pulled pork yesterday, so I've just put in a bit of extra barbecue sauce in. There might be some other spicy ones from last night in here. Oh dear. And that's going to go on top of the burgers with some fiery cheese blend. Awesome. So some nice brioche rolls. I'm in charge of toasting the buns. And I'm always in because, charge of toasting the buns. This is because it's full of sugar at Christmas. They have these tortilla roll things, the Marks and Spencer's, but there's with cinnamon. But the Easter they've done maple bacon, so... Ooh. So we're going to have them to watch. Them. They're not slimming well either. I can see they're not slimming well because they've got red on them and orange. The Easter. If I get a sticker and we cover that up, then they're slimming well. The Easter. Fine, Easter. Okay. And then in here, yeah, which you've already found, because you have these on buffers. Oh, it's not so good. We've got some Marks and Spencer's Bramley Apple Hot Cross Buns mm -mm. and the Chocolate Orange Hot Cross They're really buns. nice. They are they're really nice. nice. But the chocolate ones are slightly like better. Yeah. Whereas the chocolate orange ones are more like naughty. <laughs> and then if you want to show them the Easter goodies in the fridge. I could do that, couldn't I? So let's go and have a look at the fridge, which is full of magnets, as you can see. Easter goodies include beer and some other beer, and there's some more beer behind there. And that's it. Now there's also, I can't actually, probably should have done some reorganizing. Gemma bought this which is a Star Wars R2-D2 made of chocolate. So we're going to eat him. Probably later or tomorrow. Uh, there's some opal pork left. There's tomorrow's tea, which we'll, we'll, we'll probably show you the cooking of maybe. And that is a massive leg of lamb. We always have like leg of lamb, sort of like New Year and Easter. And I'm just trying to get things out of here without dropping everything. That's a gigantic cabbage. Also in there, there is a Chocolate dinosaur. 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 He's got orange eyes. He's cool. He's a bit misty though. He's, He's also got eggs. eggs yeah, I just seen that. Mmm, chocolate eggs. And there's some um, some uh, what are them? Uh, Ferrero Rocher off, off Gemma's dad. A new lawnmower. A new lawnmower. A new lawnmower. Look how many days until Disney. Um, none, because we don't know. That's tough, Florida. We don't know when Disney is. Can we, can we put that in? We can put that in as well. That my my friend bought. I should show you this as well. Of all of our like photos of holidays and stuff, most of them from Florida. We made this picture frame, and the one in the middle isn't ours. We just found it on the internet. <laughs> Oh, and that one's Scotland. Right, so now Mark is gonna show you his party piece. It's not a party piece, I just saw someone do it once and I followed it. These are our new NXT cups that my friend Nicola got us when she was um, at Fan Access. 
Don't fill a beer glass with oak too much of a head. At a festival when you've got nothing to put it down on. We've got giant hand going on again. Giant hand. Sorry for all the cooking noises and my burgers. Oh, I've got too much head on. You've got far too much head That's European on. style. Like, We've got our burgers game. going there and the pulled pork oh, here. And he's burning the brioche buns like them, over there. Them, them, them. Look at them. Look at them. Caramelised. Do you distract me? Split. Oh, it split all the way down. No. <laughs> That's all. No, but it, it splits all the way down, so it will be when I take it off. Drama has occurred. The burgers are complete. There's no workspace in our kitchen whatsoever because everything's either full of clean stuff or full of days. But the burgers are completely left. The way the steam's catching the sun, it's beautiful. <laughs> we just noticed the cup's heat sensitive. Or cold sensitive. Well, cold sensitive, yeah. Now oh, my battery's running out. Look at that there. That's so cool. Right, so it's Easter morning. I've woken up really early, overindulged a little bit last night and got awful like, windy paint up, you know, um, to get some tums. So I've decided to start um, cooking lunch. So I've prepped all the lamb and that's what we're having today. So this is the lamb. Um, I've just put some lemon on it and um, some garlic and rosemary and mint and I put shallots and lemon around the bottom and some red wine. So that's what we will be having later. Um, Holly dog is skulking into the living room. There's only washing. So Mark might get up in a bit. As I say, we we did overindulge a little bit last night and I'm paying for it now. Um, but hopefully doing a bit more vlogging during the day. So you might see a little bit more of what we get up to on Easter Sunday. It might not be much. It might not be anything. But we'll see. See you later. What do you do when the weather's really rubbish? You watch your own vlogs on YouTube, of course. Because we're going away soon, I'm watching my own back to one, remind me of how much fun we had, and two, remind me of how much to, how to make the next set of vlogs better. So far, conclusions are, one, don't use the GoPro because it's terrible at night, <laughs> and it's very, very shaky quality footage. Two, stop filming Gemma's boobs. No, um... <laughs> 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 no, two, make sure both of us are in frame, which should be easier because we've got the G7X now. And three, was there a three? Yeah, make sure I um, let the camera focus and stuff like that. Oh look, there's me. Oh man, my beard's very long and my hair is very scruffy. Dinner is served. Looks good that, Gem. Now we're going to eat it all. So of course, on a quiet bank holiday weekend, when the weather's terrible, I go and find a scale extra under the stairs and see if the cats will play with it. He <laughs> just did a massive yawn. Oh, I'm stuck. Uh, can you give that white car a push? Well, the effort I went through to entertain you too, and you're not even interested. You want the red wine already? Oh, that's really nice. Really nice. I picked a good one. Good. Mm -hmm. We also have chocolate dinosaur. Spike tail the dinosaur. And also, in keeping with dinosaur, we're watching Crispy S'mores live stream. Mm -hmm. They're having mega loads. <laughs> After the amount of food we've had today, we'll probably have mega loads later. <laughs> Gemma! <laughs> we were all thinking it. <laughs> we're not entirely sure how to break the dinosaur. Break the dinosaur. Break the dinosaur! Solid off being in the fridge. Jane, you can't have dinosaur. <laughs> you brought a bowl of water, Jane's like, hmm, food. 
that's exactly what I didn't want to happen. <laughs> I'll eat the bits that have been on the floor. Cats, go away, please. These bits went on the floor. There's no hair on them. Which is quite frankly a miracle in this house. Mm. <laughs> Guess the Disney song. Now you're putting pressure on me. <laughs> the one I just sang. <laughs> that wasn't a, that wasn't a... It was a Disney song. <laughs> it wasn't what I was playing. No. <laughs> you told me to not know what you're playing. <laughs> I can't do it anymore. We were in it. So it's Monday and uh, I'm on the GoPro very briefly because I've just noticed the goldfinches are coming around and eating off her, I'm just looking at them now, eating off her goldfinch feeder. So what I'm going to try and do is use this wrist strap and this case to film the goldfinches, see if I can get some good footage of them. Um, we'll find out in a bit because the last time I did this they saw the camera and went nope and flew away. So the goldfinch thing kind of worked. Uh, they were a bit out of focus because the camera was too close to the finches, but we'll sort that out in the future. Anyway, that has been our weekend. We haven't really done much, which is perfect because we weren't planning on doing much. Uh, we did actually find out loads of information about uh, Disney hotels for our next trip, which is not our upcoming trip in 20 odd days. It'll be a trip sometime in the future. Uh, other than that, we're going to have the rest of our lamb from last night now. Uh, we're going to relax, watch some more vlogs, and see what happens there. So, thanks for watching, and bye bye.